everybody, and welcome to the Board Game Geek Show for Thursday, October 24th. I am your host, Scott Alden. And once again, I'm joined by my lovely co-hosts. Debbie Eric Martin, <laughs> Rodney Smith. I thought he was just going to point to us. Lincoln like Demers. Hey. You sound like you're Can't forgetting. Yes. <laughs> no, I want to make sure I'm saying, I was going to say W. Rodney Smith. I don't know why I keep doing that. It's like, <laughs> why, is it, why is it popping in my head? I'm like, stop. I don't know. It's been a long essay. So we're here for Yeah, we've been here for a whole, whole two days. <laughs> two days. Well, true, three. True. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's been a setup day. We record on Wednesday. Oh, yeah, so yeah. we're at Spiel in Essen, Germany. It's a location, it's a city. The event is called Spiel. Right. <laughs> Good start. Um, yes. Yeah, so we're the end of day, for us, day three, because we set up day, right. press day, day which two, we recorded. Day two of live so day two right. of live streaming. Um, day one of the actual weird day. show. It's been flawless. We had start. no problems yesterday. Like, <laughs> we went straight on, nothing, problems. Then today, it's been. Other than the internet oh, from the, internet, the hall. The internet from the hall, they throttled us right yeah. off the bat. So that's always fun. But, but, but they don't tell problem. you. Yeah, yeah, you call them up and they're like, I, I, I called them up, I said, the internet is slow. And we're supposed to have 25 megabits, we're getting two. He goes, hold on. Pa time passes. Yes. Try now. I hit refresh on the speed test. Right. Fast.com, by the way, if you have, that's, a, that's one that people don't know about. Fast.com? Yeah, Netflix made it. Okay. Um, and it's back to 25, right? No explanation, now he's just like, okay, bye. Okay. Thanks. Anyway, that's the tech support you get here. So here we are at Spiel. We recorded um, 200 game demos so far, something like that. Has it been that many so far? <laughs> Feels like it's probably not that much. 100, at least 100. Yeah. We generally average about 300 for the show. Okay. So it'd be 120 if we're on yeah. track right. for that. And I've been producing none of them. So how's it been? It's been good, I, yeah. I think. The, the shifts were on, like two hour shifts rotation. Yeah. So I, I would say just when I'm doing hosting, anyway, by the time I'm starting to wind, like my brain's starting to turn to mush, yeah. I'm done. Yeah. And then, you know, you, you have, like, the the you have about a two hour limit before yeah. you're like, yeah, Derek lose focus a little bit. He's, 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 he's got an iron will. <laughs> he doesn't even like pretend he's awake, you know. That's only at dinner <laughs> Yeah. at the hotel. So we, we have to embarrass Derek. He had dinner at the hotel. After working, Which, he flew in. Worked all day, all day setting up, and sure. then went to go eat, and then, and then fell asleep, asleep at the, the table. table. Like, <laughs> the server, the <laughs> sir, excuse yeah. me, sir. Uh, you Your food is here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can wake up now. Poor guy. I bet she was uh, insulted, like, oh, I wasn't gone that long. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> right. It happens here. Yeah. All right, so um, we have a scoop. Okay. Yeah. So yes. we were over at the yellow booth. We walked in. Looking glasses. for your glasses. You got to go with that. Um, and so they showed us this thing. It looks really, really. It looks awesome. really cool. I don't know if. It, well, we trying to get overhead. Yeah, can you zoom in? Zoom in. It's called King of Tokyo Dark Edition, and it Dark is a edition. strictly limited collector's period. version. So they, the the goal is to do more things like this, but it will be a one-shot deal. Anyway, well, right here we, some of the stuff. Right here we have the. Um, what is it called? The Giga Demon or something like that. Gigazor. But they've that done was new, my favorite. They did new artwork. Are you on that? Can you yeah. get tighter? Yeah. Or you wanna you wanna pass pass yeah. that? Throw it. There we go. Alright. Yes. Oh, and then you want it. There you go. Big geek is our. And it's all new artwork. And it's a really cool. The gameplay is the same, right? It's yeah. a stylistic change. Yeah. There is some other portions Another to the game. Maybe. Oh, okay. Be. Yeah, you can't. Well, it's, well, you can. You there's can something see. there. Yeah. Um, they could not explain what was going on, but mm. you can kind of see. Okay. But here's notice, the thing I was really, They're going to reveal all the rest of the characters. Yes. But right. the box does not have any of the information. It's all on the cell phone, right? Right. So they, yeah, the the front of the the name of the game, I'm guessing, is all in see is all in the cell phone, and then you get a, a cool plain box cover. Right. right. Um, Abyss style, or yes, yeah, yeah. Emba embossed and uh, the um, lacquers on it. Are stuff the like dice that. out here? I, I don't know. No, no, no. Never shot. mind. Yeah. So when is this releasing? Uh, next. And don't answer. It's probably on we don't know. sometime <laughs> next year. Yeah, sometime okay. Okay. Well, if, so, yeah, if it cool. says character revealed uh, in November, in de and in January, in December, in January. Mm. I mean, I could tell you what it is. He could tell me, but I'm it's going to be going February. To tell you. It's going to be the con oh, fair. Everything like it's going to be the con, con fair. Yeah. yeah, because 
Where French. else would a French yeah. company debut something awesome? English will be later, I think next month, month or so after. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. That was unexpected. And it looks really, it looks really nice. The art is ridiculously cool. Did, the, you, did you hear about Portal Games announcement? No. What, uh, tell us, Rodney. Well, okay. what, what did Portal yes. Games announce? They announced something, I think just last night I got a press release announcement about it, saying that Detective is going to release, I believe it's in 2020, Detective Season 1. And it is going to be hmm. a detective you know and love, but streamlined and shortened a little bit. So I believe it comes with three cases, 90 minutes each. So it's typically a detective it. scenario will take maybe four to five hours yeah. sometimes, right? Yeah. So these are meant to be shorter, and I believe the, they say the rules have been streamlined a little bit too, simplified a little bit. Okay. I don't know if it means the app is not integrated anymore. I'm assuming we still use the app, but I don't know. Uh, that was a question I had, but I didn't get a chance to talk to Fiance about that yet. Right. So it's a season one, 90 minutes, three episodes, two, 270 minutes. Yeah, yeah I, I, see them, day. I see them trying to sort of maybe release season two, season three. Right. A smaller package, something maybe right. easier something, to get into. Yeah, so you can finish it. Yeah. Have so, an ending. I'm, I'm imagining maybe for the mass market crowd. Yeah. You know what I mean? Something like that maybe? Nice. So, that hmm. sounds fun. Yeah. It's a game I like, but I will admit, sometimes I have a little trepidation to point off shuffle it. Do I have four, four hours, hours to yeah. invest right now? Yeah. Probably not. 90 minutes maybe. Yeah. It's like a movie or less, yeah. right? So, that was, that's what I heard. Cool. It's mm. 7 o'clock. They've not shut down the hall. Interesting. We're just noticing now, yeah. 7 p.m. at the time of this report. Yeah, they yeah. And people are still here. Yeah. And normally, not, yeah. The there's no internal lights off. No announcement. Yeah. They just Stay forgot. Stay as long as you guys like. Well, yeah. yeah. We're not tired. We've only been here since <laughs> 8 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> it is a longer show uh, than Gen Con, right? Because Gen Con ends at 6. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. And this is an extra hour mm. just to... Really hammer it. Oh, well, you can sell more stuff. Yes. Maybe. Um, should we go around and say what we've seen that's pretty cool? Sure. From Sit Down, and I forget those guys' names. It was Ryan, I think, and... The guys that did, um... Magic Maze? Is that right? No, no, no. no. Um, uh, it's called Palm, Palm Reader. Reader. Yes. Which is fantastic. And so they did the House Telegraph. Flippers, and they did Worm Lord. House yep. Flippers? What? Oh, House, House Flippers. House Flippers. Flippers. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh my <God>. Sorry. <laughs> what did you say? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like Donkey Flippers. <laughs> sure. Um, yes. Well, Palm Reader is my kind of game. It's, it's yeah. telegraph, a telegraph, right? It's a, yeah, it's a telephone style yeah, game telephone. where like, I have to draw on, you close your eyes and I get a symbol. You draw my hand. And I draw it on your palm. Right. And then you draw it on Eric's palm. Oh, fun. And then oh, Eric draws it on that. Lincoln's palm. And then he reveals the and card. And then I reveal the card with all the symbols on it. Yep. And then you basically three, two, one, point, or one. That, Which one you what think you number, it's what like you one thought versus. was drawn on your hand. Yeah, and then like, you know, you get points, I guess. Yes. But you know, you just play that game. Yeah. That sounds fun. That's here? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Just released. Yeah. yeah. They have three games uh, coming worm, up. Sit down. Lord? Worm, worm, worm Lord. Worm Lord, yeah. which looks pretty cool too. Yeah, with where you tie knots. shoelaces. Yeah. I played knots. it at Gen Con as an example. Yes, everyone has their own color of string, yeah. very short, and you have to tie it in a knot to make a worm, <laughs> and you're advancing out from your yeah. your starting point, yeah. and then I can tie again, and so I'm building a path of worms, but it, I can take a worm, and replace someone else's, and I have to untie it. Okay. You have to untie their one. To, to give it back to, to them. Their, take, yeah. take over their one. I've eliminated your power you're not by untying it. That's what Chaz's doing it. And he's drawing these knots, and he's like, it's like, you Making know, a not tight as tight tiny. Knot. Like, yes. Well, they they, the they said in the rules, you, you cannot do that. Too tight. Right. Yes. What is too tight? It's looking to break the game. I was right? doing that as well, where I was like, yeah, like, and no one's ever going to untie no. that. But the other, the designers were doing it, and they would do a knot in like a half a second. Yeah. It was just drop, probably, drop, probably drop, drop, and you're just, yeah. Times. yeah. Play skill, <laughs> skill, skill so game. So they also had another game, um, the House Flippers game, where it's um, the old sand timer trick. When your sand timer uh, flips, it generates a cube. And then as you generate more cubes, you get to do stuff with the cubes as a currency and build yeah. houses. Yeah, okay. Because there's think, a the there's, the there's an array there's a board of houses on out and I can spend these resources to get this card which comes with a timer possibly okay. or with other resources or it lets me convert one type to another type right and so you're buying up to a different levels of houses and trying to collect I forget what it is six of a kind or two right. four of a kinds or something like that, that in order to yeah. win. so three cool games from those guys who I'd never met before I guess they. They got signed, I think they, when they told me they got the game signed all at different times. January was one Two of them, them at once, and then another one, and then they all come out once. Okay. Yeah. And they're nice, a couple of night, really nice guys. Yeah, and it's totally like sit-down 
sit downs market. Like, so yeah, they yeah. Fit, fit that niche. I got a little more room in my suitcase. Yeah. <laughs> it's neat, and it's not a very big. Uh, yeah. Palm yeah, the palm reader is like. The palm reader sounds fun. Yeah, I like that. It's it really good. Cool. Uh, as soon as they were explaining, I'm like, oh, Scott's going to love this my one. That's my jam. Totally, totally. Um, yeah. So, what have you seen that's cool? Um, What's come, that? come, come back, back to, to me. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, I brought my. I see game. this. <laughs> so this this game here is called Twenty Second Showdown. It's from Big Potato Games. And Love it's, those it's a, well, what attracted me first, of course, was this giant sand timer. Yes, I saw that in the store. It makes a lot of noise, but the noise is kind of, well, not a lot of noise, but it makes a, a while the and sand is running, the plastic makes a noise. Okay. Because when the noise stops, someone's lost the game. That's okay. what you want. So you want to hear noise. That's oh. your turn. Okay. okay. So they were saying it's the sounds of time. The sounds the of timer. Of time. Yeah, yeah, the sounds of timer. <laughs> so I, I will do my best to try to explain this. It's a team sort of party style game. Uh, one team will be yellow here. One no. team will be blue. Or one no. here. Sorry. Okay. The one team will be oh, yellow. Oh, oh, you have to be blue. I have mega blue. We played blue. Especially since I've I have the same complexion. It's uh, all right. Well, here. No, no, no it's I'll, okay. No, Rodney, I'll, no, I want you to be happy. <laughs> no, I want you to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're both happy. Okay. Blue's my color, too. You have the same it's, problem yeah, in games? Yeah, it's so ridiculous. I got to break that habit. I keep saying I have to break it, but I never do. You're probably flexible, right? You go with any color? Years ago, I'm right. like, I have to get Color away from this. Color agnostic, yeah, that's right. Lincoln that's swings right. always. Although, exactly. But also, <laughs> I did screw up recently. We were playing, I think, Tapestry on the show, yeah. and I kept moving Rusty. Maybe we were pra going over like one turn the night before, and I kept moving his piece. Right. I'm like, I don't even know why. Yeah, like, yeah. This is not my color you, I, of anybody. I broke this yeah. years ago. What yeah, happened? I don't know what was going on. I just All right. short, short circuit that night. So blue team over here, yep. yeah. yellow team, and maybe sometimes blue. We'll see. Yeah, uh, over here. <laughs> so the way it works is normally you'd also have a judge, an independent okay. player, but oh. we're gonna we're just gonna kind of fudge it here a little bit, all right? Yes. So the judge would pick a team to go first. Have a Derek being the judge. And then they would read the uh, the oh. card. Okay. Right. On the other side. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we'll read the other yeah, side. Yeah. Okay. And this is a whole bunch. This is just half of the stack, and okay. these are double sided. So I'm gonna I'll do the first one. Maybe my teammate, you can read it. Okay. And I will I will take the baton because oh, because you're the reading. Action. I didn't mention, when it's time to start, I'll flip this to the side whose turn it is, so the yellow side will be up. Okay. Right now, there's little markings on the sand timer so you can get them half and half. It's half and half right now, about 20 seconds, I believe. It'll start going. As soon as we complete the challenge, I flip it'll be it your over. turn. Okay. Lincoln will flip and you'll perform the next one. So I take the baton? Yeah, you'll have the baton for the first one. I'll, when I'm done, I'll pass this on to you because you'll have to perform the next challenge for our team. It's okay. like a tug of war. Okay, I get if it. eventually the timer ever runs out and someone hasn't completed their challenge, they lose. Okay, and the other team And the other team wins. But okay. in the game, you would play three rounds, so okay. we would get a point. Best of three. I guess best of three or something like that. Right. That's my quick understanding from a quick read of the okay. rules. Okay. We got a sense of it? Yes. I mean, I can see, as an example, on the top of this card, it just says, what is 55 minus 29? This is why the judge would have to do it, I guess, because the answer's here. Yeah. Not all of them have a QA like sure. this. If it doesn't, then we'll maybe skip it. Gotcha. Right? All right, ready? Well, the, don't they have questions on the other side? I don't think so. Some of them do, some of them don't. Flip it over, we'll see. Ready? Yeah. It's kind of... Oh, does it do all yeah. of them? Yeah. Well, some of them are tasks, where it's just going to do oh. a thing. Okay. Oh, we can skip those, too. So, oh, we'll do those ones, too. Oh, okay. We'll try. If it falls right. apart, we're live. It doesn't matter. People yeah. get the idea. Yeah, sure. right. Ready, Eric? You're going to flip this one for me? Yes. And here we go. Take a sock off and put it in. <laughs> no, it's me. I'm what? Gonna... Take a sock off, put it in on your hand, take a sock puppet, make it say hello. <laughs> hello, well, I'm so Socky McSockface. <laughs> there, we're done. <laughs> Over to you. <laughs> Move like a robot for three seconds. <laughs> What's me? Okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Did it. Okay. Okay. Hum your favorite song and get your team to guess what song it is. This, see, this will fail. I cannot <laughs> no, do no, this. No. Shout out two oh. words without any vowels in them. Mm. Two words. That's a word. Mm. Those are words. That's on a Shout we'll out two it. words. Yeah, we'll, we'll, love it. we'll allow it. Okay. Moving on. Yeah, if I can get the card off. Spell the first name of one of your teammates backwards. T-T-O-C-S. All right, very good. Right. Find, find a face in any inanimate object in the room. Find a face. In there you <laughs> go. Oh, my God, so easy. <laughs> so easy. Point to the tallest person on your team and shout, what's the weather like up there? What's the weather like up there? Is, is he on your team? No, he's not. Oh. What's the weather like up there? <laughs> Precious seconds. It's nice and hot. Okay. 
get a teammate to stand as a bowling pin, you must roll over and over and knock them down. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! All right, okay. that, yeah, you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. All All right. Right. We were gonna do it for you there. <laughs> Swing your left arm clock clockwise and your right arm counterclockwise at the same time for three seconds. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Which one has to be clockwise? Oh, jeez! Oh, oh. All right, right there's the water incident. I think we win then. I think so. His left arm was definitely yeah. going counterclockwise. So a great ending. I did a little preview of this earlier yes. today on the stream, and I, it looked like silly fun. Really awesome, Obviously, actually. you would not play it in a very tight, no, no, you have space. So. Holy cow! I still yeah, bowled awesome. you over. Yes, you did. Very <laughs> good. Very good. <laughs> Derek's losing it over there. Oh my god, that's All great. Right. And I should mention, you know, when you you got one and you're like, oh, how do I even do this? Each team gets a help card. So if you feel like, I don't know how to do this, you get to use it once per round, yep. and then the, the other team can jump in. I, the, your own teammates can jump in and try to help. So. Gotcha. And that's, that's cool. the game. All right. Well, we saw one last will, night oh. called oh, yeah. Trophy. Trophy. And I don't know what's the story on that. I can't remember who the publisher was. It was one of the guy from uh, Barnes & Noble. Um, the whole team, Barnes yeah, & Noble. Right. And you have a card that you're reading, so you'll, they'll see a letter, and then you have a card of... Um, questions, and you have to judge which one, whoever's fast, and whether it's a valid answer. But you know, it'd be an R, and they said uh, an Asian city, and Scott city in Asia, yeah, and he said Rangoon, and the guy's like, okay, gave him the card. But you're trying to get the most. Yeah, so you you're holding the entire deck. deck. You're holding the deck, and they see the letter, and then the backside has six categories. Yeah, I know. Six, six or five, something like okay. that. Okay. And then the first person to shout out gets start. You play the whole deck. Yeah. Oh, wow. It was pretty neat. Was, hmm. And yeah, they had really nice. So the, the the lead guy would get a little actual golden trophy, and then the second place would get a card of a trophy. But it was actually it's really, really, really neat. Yeah. What was but that called again? Trophy. 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 Yeah. And oh, I, don't I saw publishing. that. It's a tiny little box. Yeah, it's a little box. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice little party game. Metal tin, I believe. Good, yeah, I got yeah. a little more room left in my suitcase. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where that's at. That like, no, yeah. I wish you guys would stop looking up. I, I just looked it up and I didn't find it. I was like, they have to that find here? out the publisher. I don't know. We saw they were them playing last night. it. So yeah. Maybe. Maybe. But I'm not it seeing it. Hmm. <laughs> but the, it looked fun. Yeah. And they were, uh, we were hoping to come back, but we were so gone, gone for so long for dinner, but uh, come back while they were still playing. But it looked really great. Cool. That sounds fun. You All right, something? Eric, we're coming back Yeah, I was trying to go through the, the list here of things. Um, so, oh. not a new game, but I don't know if you know the Korean publisher Dice Tree Games. Yes. You've seen their elaborate setups of modern art, which comes with easels and a, an actual hammer that you Gamble. do. Yeah, and, a, and they have uh, the Kinesia Horse Race game, which... And Code Winter 777. Circle? And Code 77, Winter Circle, yeah, with painted horses or, uh, and bag called? of looks like turf. all this money coins, nice. like actual. Yeah. I mean, they do elaborate productions. So, coming in 2020 from them, a new version of Raw. Oh, wow. And I was just like, oh, really? I want to see that. Well, you know, yeah. Ken Nietzsche oh, nice. will be happy. Yes. But, I mean, the, the last version, the Fantasy Flight version, didn't... It didn't seem to match up to the Alea one with the, the wooden things you get to slam around. I don't know. Yeah. It's a very minor it's thing. But, yeah. But I'm very curious to see what kind of production they're doing. And they're also doing uh, Das Scepter von Zavendor. Oh, yeah. Nice. Which, What's man. that? It's been a long time. Oh, wow. It's, Never yeah. It? What's no. that? Oh, it's great. That was it's a, an, uh, that's a uh, Eggerspiel? Oh. No. What's it called again? Das Scepter von Zavendor. It's a lookout title. Lookout? Okay. It's a reimplementation of Outpost. You play Outpost? Oh, that's right. It's basically like an engine building game where you just keep scoring over and over and you oh, get really? your engine yeah, so yeah, high. Really and just, okay. Yeah, it's really awesome. It's yeah. a, a while ago? or yeah, it's about 10 years. Ago. Okay. Yeah, late, late 2000s. Z-Man did an addition as well. Okay. Came, came with calculators. Came with calculator. I didn't come with calculators. Really? Uh, maybe not. Maybe my, my copy had calculators. Okay. It's yeah. a mathy game. Okay. But yeah. it's really neat and it's all magic themed and you're like, you, you buy something that gives you 10 points a turn, or something that generates an opal, and then use opals to do this and to feed into that. And so it's just a really nice idea. Excited to see back, then, it sounds like. Hmm? Something you'd be excited to see back, then? I have never played uh, it. Oh, you haven't played it? Okay. No, uh, I just no, thought yeah, it was unusual that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's so many games coming back onto the market, and I would not have guessed that one was coming out. Is it, on, is it Tom Lehman? Or? Uh, it's not Tom Lehman. Uh, no, but no. It's based on Drogue Emuler, right? Is it Lookout? Then it was Lookout and Z Man. 
Don't adjust your sets. They're just turning the lights yeah. off. And, uh, it's dimming. Um, can, can we do that? Yeah. That. No. Jens is the guy. One of the guys that worked on. Um, November. Terra Mystica and Gaia Project. Oh, okay. That was one of his early games. Yeah, it's right. it's worth playing. I think you would dig it. I played it a bunch. Oh, I, I, I like forward to it. Yeah, I, I think that was one of the games that I traded that I that scared me away from trading because I think I traded the tiniest deck of cards game for that, and I felt so terrible. You but got the better really end of the deal. Won. Exactly. Mm. But if you're done with the game. I, I know, and the guy really wanted it, so I, but I still was like, oh, I feel terrible. What more can I give you? <laughs> So trade with me. Uh, <laughs> I don't trade. You can ask me for something. I might send it to you. Ooh. Oh, wow. How about it, that? Gives it away. Yeah. It's just easier. Yeah, if you, I had somebody ask for, for, for the, um, for the uh, uh, promo for... Uh, what was It's that? coming out now. Eat Yato. Oh, and Yato. It was the, the Burns yeah, Cathedral real or whatever. Rare. And they were asking thirty dollars for it, and I got oh. it for free. Yeah, and I didn't okay. have the game, which yeah. I like the game, but I never got the game. Sure. And so I'm just like, hey, what's your address? I'll send it to you. Yeah, yeah. Pay it forward, That's right? Nice. Yeah. Because and I think two people at the same time did that, and I sent them off. I'm like, here, I don't need them. Because uh, it's ridiculous. I mean, thirty dollars for and it's, it's barely well, anything. It's, it's a rare I, I People know, do that. There's a lot of Carcassonne expansions also in the same yeah. same boat where it's they go weird. out of print. And I've had people give me. Carcassonne expansions that they were done, you know, yeah. like, hey, take yeah, this. So, I mean, I just rather hand it on to somebody yeah, else. It right. feels good. What else is and there? It's just, what am I going to? I can't charge thirty dollars for a piece of cardboard. I could. I'm not going to. I know. That. You're not. Mm, I see. Um, Unless it's talk my with... game that I'm making and selling. That's <laughs> yeah, I feel <laughs> I'm pricing it at thirty dollars. <laughs> I, I I met with Studio H. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is a studio it's that an was founded by Hachette Livre. Yeah. Uh, with largest book company in France, and I think it's number four in the U.S. Uh, so Hachet bought Gigamic at the beginning of the year, and they started Studio H. They started another company called Funny Fox that okay. is doing licensed versions, like they have Ceylon coming out, um, and they just bought BlackRock Games. Which not was, not quite like finalized and announced, but... 30 companies under with, BlackRock or something like it, that? It distributes... It both publishes Distribu games right. and it distributes for 30 smaller French companies. Catch-up games, Blam, uh, the flying games. There's a whole ton of them that they do. So Hatchet is super moving into the game market. And Studio H was giving previews of uh, three titles coming the first half of 2020 in there. Uh, one was this trick-taking game, which I'll have to talk about in more detail just, I don't know, at another time. Uh, there's a chip-throwing game where you'd be Team Seagull, we are Team Pelican, and we are trying to claim fish on the beach, and also there's like an area majority thing while we're throwing our bird tokens onto <laughs> the board. Okay. And then there's a game where you are knights protecting an area in this fallen realm, but you're still trying to hold up your job, and there's all these scenarios based with it, all different boards, different things going on with Vincent Dutre art, and cool. it just, it looks pretty sharp. Okay. Yeah, so there's a lot more details. And so it's just like, yeah, that's just the first half of the year. Yeah. And so it's a very ambitious plan, and they talked about how uh, T-Bolt from Studio H was talking about how there's so much overlap once you start looking at book publishing and game publishing in terms of distribution and how you handle things and work with authors and you can do lots of crossover with bookstores carrying things or libraries carrying things as well. And so it seemed like a match that they wanted to move into big. Not, I think that company's bigger than us, but they... Yeah. Yeah. I think, okay. yeah, they had, what was it? Uh, I, I looked it up before in the press release. It was sales last year. I think it was like 2.4 billion. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's not net or anything, yeah, right. but gross. Sure. Yeah. And, Asmodee was purchased by Pi Partners for 1.2 billion. Okay, that gives you a sense of the scale difference. There. Yeah, oh. well, I mean, that's that's a peanuts yeah. <laughs> in any no. case. But um, and then they could course, probably afford that thirty dollar uh, promo. That's right. <laughs> they could. <laughs> if they'd asked me, I probably would have sold it for thirty. Yeah, uh, and Asmodee, of course, just bought uh, Louis Mem. Right. It was had a press release last night about that. That's the werewolves. Of Miller Which I was Hollow. surprised. Yeah. So the the big games they said were Skull and the Werewolves of Miller's Hollow, which has sold more than four million copies. Wow. Which I would never have guessed. Oh, wow. 
That's a lot of copies. It is a lot of copies. And it's open public domain game. Right. Yeah, but you have a specialized yeah, version. Special it version. came out in 2001. Right. They've been selling it continuously since and then. It's a, it's a nice small package. It's like yeah. a $10, $15. Yeah. Thing. And they've had lots of different versions and a special edition, a big box, and all sorts of stuff. Is that uh, something that... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we yeah. should talk about that and then wrap up. Yeah. Oh, is this what I think it is? It is what I think it is. It's uh, previews of two Geek Up sets coming. Oh, my. There we go. Okay. Yes, so this is oh, samples of the Geek Up set for Twilight Struggle. Oh, hey, there's yep. some every specialized. Every tile has been made. Every special tile, every too. Text. Yes. Oh, that's very legible, too. An evil empire. Yes. Beth said it took a little while to make sure everything was legible and on the... On the wow. space, yes. Fit everything in here. Yeah, because it'd be one thing to make these nice looking bits, but if you couldn't you know, make up the text and stuff yeah. like that, it'd be sort of cute but pointless. That's cool. Yep. All right, cool. I got it. Yep. I'll take yeah, this take one home here. Yeah, I'll take that <laughs> home. Thank you. Cute but pointless. <laughs> so, so that's, that's just probably oh, We'll show that one first. Yeah. There. Okay, I have to give them back. All right. Fine. One of those coming when, out. When's that really? Yeah, exactly. When's that releasing? Really January. January. January 2020. Oh, sure. All right. Another geek up set here. I know what this is. Why don't you tell us about it? Is it Trajan or Trajan? <laughs> Trajan. That's right. So lots of tokens in here. Yeah. It's so great matching the, the colors tokens. of the tokens to the plastic. Yeah. Because obviously they are going to have a little bit of a framing, but it blends the framing in. Right. And the house. Oh, look at that. House tokens. Beth's keeping these all oh, separate the little baggies. Just mix them up. <laughs> now, yeah. they're ruined. Oh. Look at these. These are nice. Yeah, they're really nice. I just played Trajan this year. Yeah, that's great. I love that game. Hmm. Makes my yeah, brain are, sweat. So these have that house shape. Yep. Awesome. Texas. Those look great. All right. Great. That's cool. awesome. And I just got awesome. these handed to me. What is this? Something new? Brand new? I'm brand new. Yeah. Not, never been seen. I'm worried about. Are we spoiling something else in our life? Teotihuacan. Oh, Teotihuacan. One part of the Teotihuacan sets. One part of the set, right? Oh, these are engraved. Yes, yes. that's what I'm realizing, Jerry. Engraved. Yes. Mm. yes. Fancy. The artwork is done by the original artist. Yeah. OK. Yeah, lead over Scott. Yeah. The artwork is done by the original artist who did all the artwork for Teotihuacan named Odysseus. And he also found the glyph. It was his idea to actually do the, and that is the actual Mayan glyph for cacao. Um, that? Yep. Yeah, we added the five just for clarity's sake mm. on the glyph side. Right. But, right. Um, so he added, it's the original piece of the cocoa from the game, but he added right. the whole border design. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah, nice. So that's our first part engraved part heat transfer okay every set i try and try something new? new yeah cool it's nice plastic so it's the same process oh, you would use to it's do mold. it's a mold and, and then they dump it? paint or ink into the groove okay. right yeah. uh, question beth uh so because we asked the timeline on twilight uh what about trajan uh trajan is probably the same okay so um, January, there will be another wave of geek up that will be ready before the end of the year mm -hmm. Don't hold me to this, but probably sushi dice, sushi roll, uh, Mombasa, uh, and something else I can't remember because it's the end of a long day. Oh, it's good to save something <laughs> as a tease. There you go. <laughs> what about this one? When's this one released? Uh, what do you think? Farther out? I don't know actually okay. because that one we had to sort of develop this new process. So now that they have the mold, it's a smaller set. It might actually go a little bit quicker. Okay. That one we might be able course, to get in by the end of the year. Subject to wow. change. <laughs> yeah, that's right. for sure. And Chinese news. <laughs> right. right. Oh, cool. It's, yes, it's Lost Expedition. Thank you, Chad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that one will be in by the end of the year. Okay, yeah. right on. I haven't seen that one yet either. Cool. All right. right. Well, there's the promotional segment. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. We appreciate that's the support. That's a fun thing to promote, though. Yeah, yeah. It's the Kickstarter news, Scott. Oh. Um, there's a lot of Kickstarter games here that have not been delivered. That's all I know. I know, it's crazy. There's so many of them. I'm like, oh yeah, I Kickstarted that. Oh yeah, I Kickstarted that. <laughs> but did they well, promise not to sell it? I don't know. There's no promises. I mean, you know, I understand the issues. Yeah. Just frustrating sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's some things that wasn't, um, like On Mars is not for sale. Yeah. 
but it's not specifically because the backers have only just started getting it. It's more just everything was delayed. I was talking with, with Rick Seward about it, and he said uh, they did lots of partners, a few more than normal, and they all wanted to do their own language edition, and then that would just add a little bit more every single time you have to work with different partners to get the translations and do all these different elements. And he said the Korean partner wanted every single thing in Korean, even if it was a single word. And so you got to go through and make the effort and balance all. all this, and that mm -hmm. just adds to the okay. timeline. But we yeah, may you probably have a copy for BGG Con, though. Uh, we do. We yes. do. Yeah. Nice. Which I would suggest putting on the hot games table so we don't have to Problem set it up each time. <laughs> Problem <myself. laughs> <Someone else. laughs> Yeah. That box is bursting, though. Yeah. Which you, you probably don't want to bring home from Spiel anyway. Yeah, it's that like thing's 50 like pounds. a third of your luggage. Yeah. Well, I think we can find a few people who would want to bring it home. Uh, probably so, <laughs> yes. That's right. You got 110 euros to spend elsewhere. That's true. Very true. Uh, and that wraps up another episode of the Board Game Geek Show. I am your host, Scott Alden. Thank you. And um, thank you to my lovely co host, W. Rick Martin, W. Rodney Smith. And W Lincoln like Damage. That's right. All the W's. Yeah. Potatoes all around. See you guys next time. Bye bye. Take care. Bye.